As you guys know, with EVs or electric vehicles, the maintenance is absolutely a lot lower than what you'd have for your ICE equivalent or in your normal petrol or diesel car. Uh, one of the main things that you obviously have to watch out for is your tyre pressure. Um, now, I have seen on uh, various Facebook groups that people literally have no idea uh, what the warning sign is or the icon or the logo of when you actually need to check. So besides the fact that you should always, of course, check your tire pressures, um, if the warning comes up, this is exactly what it looks like. So I'll just flip the camera around. So essentially what you're looking for is this logo over here. Uh, I'll hold that camera still. That one there with the exclamation mark. I'll put a bigger icon here on the screen for you guys in a moment if you'd like. And then the other way you'll know is down here, if you actually swipe to the right hand side, you'll actually see the tire pressures and the um, ones that need, I guess, more attention down here or what the warning was for. So you can see uh, down there you've got 38 psi, 38 psi, 38. 39 psi and the warning over there and in, um, what you can find out you can actually also read in the manual as well but if you tap on that it actually pulls up the menu over here and then you can see up here recommend cold pressure front 42 psi and rear 42 psi and at the moment it's 39 38 38 38 so all you need to do pump it up and uh, I don't think there is a reset or anything like that um, but you can actually um, change your tire configurations if you ever do change them but it seems like all you need to do is uh, get it to the 42 the recommended tire pressure and then you should be all okay all right so for me i'm using a rotary pump that you can buy at bunnings and uh because i've got a couple of one plus tools i'm just using the one plus 18 volt battery um essentially it's a in inflator and a deflator as well so multi-purpose if you guys do go camping uh you can use this side to inflate things like um beds and whatnot and then this side you can use to of course pump up your car tires so i'll show you guys how it works all right, so first of all, load in the battery, which you've got there. Undo this bit here on the side. Then what you'll do is tap that button there to turn it on. Now, I don't know if you can see it uh, over here at the moment. It says zero PSI. So all you want to do is this is minus and this is plus. And you want to put it to 42. Okay, so you see here 42 PSI now. Now it's gone back to zero, but that's fine because it's currently off. Now what we want to do is then go to your tire, find the tire valve, unscrew that. Then line this up and put it in. And then pull down that latch there so it seals that and you can see at the moment uh, I said 38 in the car it says 39 over here and then if I push this plus button here that actually now says 42 or you can go 43 depending on whatever you want I'll show you guys uh, I'll push it back I'll put it to 43 just to show you guys and then if you just push this one here that turns on uh, this side which goes here if I turn to this side then that's the deflator which is this one over here so 39 at the moment it shows here and we'll just push this one here a few moments later okay so that's the first one done and all you need to do uh, once it settles in so at the moment this shows here uh, 42.5 psi so again you can uh, just check that at any given time you want that stops it there or automatically it stops so once it gets to that uh, right psi so all you need to do we've turned it off here is just undo the latch and pull it out and then screw this back on and that should be all okay and we'll go around and we'll do check all the other ones as well one eternity later all right, we've just gone for a short drive and literally after about uh, rolling just a few meters down the road, uh, all of this updated and you can see now these all show 42 PSI. The notification or warning is already gone over here. 
and uh, yeah, that's essentially it. So there you guys have it. Uh, always good to keep a tie inflator in the car or have one handy at home if you don't like to visit the servos anymore. Otherwise, um, good habit to, I guess, keep front of mind to always just monitor your tire pressures and uh, keep it top top. Any questions, um, let me know, drop in the comment box below. I'll put a link to uh, where you can buy my one if you'd like. Uh, there's no referral or anything. It's just uh, something that I've always been using for a long, long time and highly recommend it. There are obviously a lot of other brands and tire inflators out there. So just make sure you get one that you feel like will last you a while as well. Um, either way, hope you guys are well. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you soon.